Okay, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a little bit of a how-to type video for you. I had a request for some crystals. I had made a video in the past about how to make uh, crystals if you're doing some type of uh, diorama that needed crystals. Um, I had a request from a friend of mine. He wants uh, three sets of these crystals made in green. And he wants them for, a, I believe, a Superman diorama. So what you do is you take your one-inch uh, foam. You cut it into a one inch by one inch block. You're then going to take the opposite sides, opposite two corners, okay, and you're just going to cut those straight through, okay. I recommend sawing back and forth. Don't try to make a straight cut. If you do, you might end up with these uh, little bits. Sometimes they look okay, sometimes they don't. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this just to give you an idea what to do. So again, you're just going to saw that back and forth. Taking one end off, turn it over, take the opposing end. You're gonna cut that straight down. And you're gonna end up with some type of a hexagon type shape at the top, all right? Now all you do here is take your top piece and you're gonna bring it to a point. I usually do about four, anywhere from four to six cuts here. It all depends what it looks like. Um, I usually don't go with like a really hard top point. Kind of give it a couple more different angles there, if you can see. Um, okay. And then, you're pretty much done with your uh, crystal. What you're gonna do is go through a series of four colors of paint. You always start with the darkest. And again, it doesn't matter what color, as long as you got four different colors. I use three greens and a touch of yellow at the end. So you're gonna go with your darkest, some type of forest green. This one is a true green, this one is a shamrock green, and then again, the yellow. Right now I have um, have the uh, dark coat on first, have those set in the sun, and then I'll bring it back and show you how to do this one. And again, all you're doing is totally coating it with the, the darkest. You're coming back with a lighter, maybe 75%, maybe 25%, and then just the uh, edges, just the tips of the uh, crystal with some highlighted yellow to make it look like it's glowing. So. I will go through that in some pictures and uh, hopefully this uh, helps you guys out. Okay, now here's step two which is the true green color that I used. And again, you can see, you really don't paint it on, you kinda dry brush it. I'm trying to hold the camera and do this at the same time. You're trying to dry brush it across the uh, angles, both directions. Um, so you get that kinda glowing look, that kinda wisp wispy look, okay? So you don't really paint the entire thing. And I, I said about 75%, I don't know, maybe it's like 60%, but uh, that's just the first coat. Then again, we'll come in with a, even a lighter green. I'm mean, probably gonna use this next. I don't think I'm gonna go with the uh, neon green. We'll see what it looks like. And then finally, uh, finally the yellow. Okay, so here goes the third color of green. I opted to go with a neon green because I had went so dark on that very first color that the forest green almost looks black next to these greens so I decided to lighten it up a lot and I didn't go with the uh, the other green color that I had I went with a uh, really light neon green but after it dries you can tell some of these are drier than others um, it's not as neon <laughs> so lastly we'll come in with the uh, yellow and just nick the sides, nick the edges, make it look like it's glowing, and uh, build the bases. Okay, so here's what it looks like after you hit the edges. With a yellow. Okay, so once all the paint's dry, all you're gonna do is form your crystals. I have here just a light foam core base. I usually group them in groups of three, but it doesn't have to be. So I got three groups of three here ready to go. Now, 
you don't want them looking like this, straight up and down. So what you'll do is take your utility knife, cut them at a little bit of an angle, maybe one straight and the other two at different angles. And then you'll group them like that and just hot glue them in place where you want them. After you have your crystals glued to the base, all you do is cut out your base. Once you have your base cut, so here's the finished product a simple one day build made three crystal bases and uh, green crystals trying to give you a 360 here just finished the bases up did a little gray overbrush on the uh, rocks and pebbles and sand and then uh, Finished it up with a little, little black wash. Still a little, little wet in there, but uh, I thought the black wash would look good. And um, yeah, simple one-day build. And now everybody knows how to make crystals. Thanks for watching.